Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you're watching this transmission. Tis I, Mike Martins. Thank you for joining me for another special edition of Free Avocado Toast for a Year. What am I talking about? <laughs> am I out of my tree? And this isn't in New Zealand. This is in, 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 in British Columbia. And what are millennials eating nowadays? So let's 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 go to this here. Free avocado toast for a year offered as BC home buying perk. What do they do? Like get them ready in the morning for you so you can eat them through the day. Uh, I, I've never had avocado on toast. I mean, I eat bruschetta. Uh, the only vegetables I put on is bruschetta. That's all I eat. I don't eat any avocado on toast. And they've gone to lengths, huge lengths, to try and sell uh, properties, these builders. I don't know if you remember that one I did about uh, Australia. Is it is it uh, that with the guy and girl provocatively dancing and making their way up to the bedroom? If you guys remember that video I did. Yeah, it's kind of interesting of what lengths builders and 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 real estate agents and brokers are going to to sell their products to people or to entice people to jump into the market. It's a flat market and it's going to get a lot worse before it gets any better till affordability hits new levels, right? Even if somebody would take that offer, I don't think they could afford it anyway, so it doesn't even matter, you know what I'm saying? A Metro Vancouver condo developer is offering free avocado toast for a year. In an attempt to appeal millennial home buyers, our approach with Kira has always been from to get go to provide products in the entry level position in the market, said Susanna, MLA Canada's chief advisory officer. It is something that the market really needs. And remember, guys, I've been saying this. This is this. They're right about this. You need fresh blood in the market. Once you get the first hometown buyers in the market, boom, everything explodes, right? And that's fresh blood. You know, when you're at a dying poker match and just people are just like uh, not playing, they're not they're not calling, they're just folding and they're just paying their one time entry and just like looking around and folding. And you need fresh blood. You need someone fresh to sit at the table to start bringing adding their chips to the poker table, right? Um, the developer Woodbridge Homes, sorry, the de developer Woodbridge Homes is building a, a Kira project with one, two, and three bedroom condos in West Coquitlam. The much bigger incentive, according to Gonclavis, uh, um, Gon is a limited chance to only pay 10% of the down payment, then you're left with a bigger, bigger margin to pay with interest on the bigger margin so if you put down more money you're paying less interest on the margin right so or the debt you're, you're borrowing you're, you're going to be paying more right so uh to sweeten the deal anyone who buys within the first weekend of the sales window will get a gift card to a local restaurant equivalent to an order of avocado toast one day a week oh one day a week for a year oh i thought it was like all you could eat for a year Oh, I think this is sending the right message, said realtor Connor Redman with Motive Marketing Group. Uh, Redman says the lower down payment and even the toast offer could encourage young home buyers, but for some time, it still may not be enough. You have to have your down payment, but you also have to not owe on cars. You have to have good credit, Redman said. So it's not just... It's student loans. Millennials are swimming in debt when it comes to student loans, right? As much uh, as it's, hey, we will give you your avocado toast, it's also, let's save up. The avocado toast cliche began when a developer named Tim Garner suggested millennials could become homeowners much faster if they stopped buying avocado toast wonder if that was down in New Zealand because I, I, the only place I know people eat avocado toast as I heard is in New Zealand. I, I, I'm not sure. Since then, it's become a common tool used by marketers targeting young people. In March, for example, Sukoni targeted selling uh, sneakers inspired by avocado toast. Interesting. How far are realtors going? It's bizarre. It, it's, 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 I don't even know how to say it. It's, it's, 
it's intelligent, it's smart, it's a cool angle, but do millennials have a pot to pee in? That's the question. They're swimming in student loan debt, and sometimes, and here's the thing with, with credit bureaus, when they're pulling up bureaus and, ban and banks or institutions, sometimes uh, student loans don't show up, eh, for some weird reason, because it's federally funded, right? And uh, it, sometimes it just doesn't show up. And it's kind of scary sometimes when you're calculating someone's TDS, then you find out they got student loans, and it's like, wait a minute, how come it's not on your credit bureau? Anyways, avocado toast. How far are uh, brokers, real estate agents, builders going? Oh, there's a little video here. Good evening and talk about a buyer's market for Metro Vancouver real estate. A Coquitlam developer is offering free avocado toast for a year in what some might call a desperate effort to get millennials to buy condominiums. But that's just part of the offer. CTV Zamata Gahi reports on how sellers are getting increasingly creative to get buyers off the sidelines. In a housing market that has slowly priced its young buyers east or out, you'll hear a lot of this. We so. don't really want to buy a house. A new development is trying to reel them back in. West Coquitlam, recently connected to the SkyTrain line, it's a hub for rising condo buildings. To draw in entry-level buyers, one... So this place is just uh, blah, 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 uh, east of Vancouver. Uh, 20 minutes. There's an Ikea down there in Coquitlam off the uh, Highway 1. So a lot of people have obviously moved towards these cities over the last decade. But now they're just going up now with these cities. And uh, a lot of skyscraper, um, a lot of skyscrapers going up. A lot of action down there going up. The developer is appealing to millennial pocketbooks and their favorite cliched cuisine. It's not uncommon to see these sales incentives. In fact, realtors in Vancouver tell me they've heard of condo developers offering to pay for interior design or several months of the strata fee, but never toast. What they'll receive is a gift voucher for Brown Social House in Coquitlam, valued at just over $500, which is the equivalent to one avocado toast per week for a year. The much bigger incentive pre-sales with a smaller down payment of 10%. Normally for new projects, the deposit 10% is dangerous, guys. It's because you're going to owe a bigger balance. When you owe a bigger balance, you're paying more interest. When you're paying more interest, um, your amortization, it just, you just you won't pay it off. So unless you come to grips that you'll never pay the place off, I'm not saying you're not going to win the lottery. I'm not saying you're going to get a bump in pay. I'm not saying you're going to be a movie star and make a whole pile of money. I'm not even talking. I'm just saying, like, if you're on that track and you're on that treadmill and you're just following and going through the motions yeah it is anywhere between 15 to 25 percent i think it's sending the right message this millennial realtor agrees the lower down payment could encourage first-time buyers but for some it may not be enough we have to save up fifty thousand instead of a hundred but how many 25 year olds are making $100,000 to be able to qualify for that mortgage, never mind just come up with the down payment. Meanwhile, some millennials are sick and tired of the avocado stereotype. Well, I think it makes a mockery of, of millennials. Yeah. Like they love their avocados and they spend money just willy nilly all the time. And I think that's kind of insulting. Because getting in. MGD, MGTOW. The Metro Vancouver's housing market still takes more than free toast. Off topic, if someone finds, if you're making fun of someone because they're eating avocado toast and they find that insulting, yeah, like seriously, I've been called a lot worse things in my life and I wasn't even insulted. Let me know what you guys think. Avocado toast, to what end are we going to see this? I'll leave a link right at the end of this video so you can see the Sydney housing um, promotion or is it porn ocean? Let me know, comment below if you want to support the transmission, share a video.